I meant to do this video a while back. I was in Arizona a while ago and I found some very strange finds in that state. Aside from the fact that there's a lot of new age stores and a lot of crystal shops and witchcraft stores all around that area in different parts, especially in Sedona and in Flagstaff. And uh, these images that you're about to see from finds that I found there were in out of Flagstaff area. And so the first one is this Freemasonry book that I found in a Goodwill there, Revered Wisdom. Uh, look and, listen to what it says here on the back. The religion of Freemasonry, the religion of Freemasonry. So a lot of them I've heard say it's not a religion, but here on this book it clearly says it is. The religion of Freemasonry is not sectarian. It admits men of every creed within its hospital bosom, rejecting none and approving none for his particular faith. It is not Judaism. It is not Christianity. It does not meddle with sectarian creeds or doctrines, but teaches fundamental truth, an absolute lie. At its altar, men of all religions may kneel. To its creed, disciples of every faith may subscribe. That's Albert G. Mackey and it's from the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry. So no Christian would ever bow at the altar of anything else besides bowing at the feet of Jesus. So no no Christian could. You can't you're not supposed to make oaths and, and oaths, the types of oaths that these people make in Freemasonry. You're not supposed to do the Bible forbids it. So anybody practicing this they're they're not a true christian they're just they're really not and they might have been duped in and you know at these lower levels they just do not understand what they're doing they might not know the bible very well and so they don't know that they're not supposed to commit or to perform oaths but those people need out and hope they need to just research the matter out and if they would read their bible then they would know what they're doing is not good so I looked through this book, didn't really find anything in it that would do me any benefit. So it is in a landfill somewhere in Arizona because it's where it belongs in the trash can. Now this next one was extremely surprising. This was in another Goodwill in Arizona and it clearly has the, the known pedophile signs that the FBI has even come out and said these are signs that pedophiles use. Many people are aware of these by now. Here you can see the triangle with a line going through all of it. And that's the logo, as the FBI has said, for boy love. We as well have, within that same area of this children's toy, two symbols, as you can see here, representing little boy love with the spiral. Unbelievable. In the same top section of this children's toy, both of the logos for for Boy Love and Little Boy Lover are in this children's toy. So there's no way that's a coincidence. Absolutely disgusting and wrong. As well as we see the star below, the pentagram, and as you can see, the crescent moon, which is tied to Islam as well as witchcraft. So that's pretty unbelievable. That blew my mind. I'd never seen that. Here, it's from Kohl's. It's got the serial number or some type of number on it, the only identification on it. I've searched the number out. I cannot find the original toy. I don't know, you know, if after all that stuff became widely known, they just took it down. But I'll leave the pictures up with the serial number. If you want to search it out more yourself, you can. Now, this next picture was in a bookstore with a bunch of, like, Egyptian art. Well, not the whole store, but in this particular area, it had, like, Egyptian statues and nonsense like that. And it's just got <laughs> the old, like, Egyptian hand doing the 666 on it. I found that pretty interesting. Obviously not doing the AOK -okay symbol, but doing something of an occult nature. I mean, there's a lot of people who practice witchcraft and new age spiritualism in that in different areas of that state particularly Sedona but even in Flagstaff as you see these different things here it's pretty interesting and there was also crystal shops and witchcraft shops around it it's pretty unbelievable I didn't go in there though and lastly was at a restaurant there on the menu as you can see it's the LG BLT an open-minded BLT with guacamole and cheese and whole wheat unbelievable that they would just that that this is what's what's out and out and about these days i was just taking pictures of this stuff as i was coming across it especially once i saw the kids toy i knew i was going to put a video together on all this but 
pretty unbelievable to see. You never know what you can find, especially in areas where a lot of new age spiritualism is being practiced. It's it's unbelievable, it really is. But just wanted to point that out. You never know what's out there, so always be safe and be praying and covered with the blood of Jesus. Put on the full armor of God every single day. Ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit and protect you and lead you because there is a spiritual war going on out there in the world. Thanks for watching. God bless.